In the world of business structures, two entities reign supreme, the Limited Liability Company, LLC, and the S Corporation, S Corporate. Both offer unique benefits and drawbacks, but which one should you choose in 2024? Let's dive into the comparison. Meet Sarah, a budding entrepreneur eager to establish her own business. As she sits down to decide on the structure, she faces a crucial decision, LLC or S Corp. So, Sarah, have you considered the advantages of each entity type? Not really. I'm torn between the two. What would you recommend? Well, Sarah, let's start with the LLC. One of its primary advantages is flexibility. You have the freedom to choose how you want to manage your company, whether it's member-managed or manager-managed. With an LLC, Sarah can opt for a member-managed structure, where all members actively participate in decision-making, or a manager-managed structure, where she appoints one or more managers to run the business. That sounds appealing. What about taxes? LLCs offer pass-through taxation, meaning profits and losses, pass through to the owner's personal tax returns. This can result in potential tax savings, especially if you're in a lower tax bracket. That's a plus. But what about the S-Corp? Ah, the S-Corporation. One of its main advantages is tax savings. As an S-Corp shareholder, you can receive both a salary and dividends, potentially reducing your overall tax burden. Unlike an LLC, where all income is subject to self-employment tax, an S-Corp allows Sarah to classify some of her income as dividends, which are not subject to self-employment tax. I see. But are there any limitations with an S-Corp? Yes, there are. S-Corp have strict eligibility requirements. For example, you can't have more than 100 shareholders, and they must all be U.S. citizens or residents. That could be a drawback if my business grows rapidly. What about formalities? Do both entities have similar requirements? 